Want to scrape TikTok data without writing a single line of code? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it inside NAN with the help of Appify. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to grab both TikTok account information, such as followers and total hearts, as well as pulling posts automatically, right? We can filter these posts as well by high performing posts, a certain amount of comments or shares. And I'm gonna show you one workflow that can automatically run this on autopilot for both. So whether you're trying to track competitors on the, the platform, run some research for some affiliate campaigns, or just curious about TikTok data, stick around because by the end of this video, we'll have a full working setup in probably about 15 minutes or so. Also, if you need any help at all with any type of any end workflows or data needs, I am taking on freelance customers. You can find my contact information down below in the description, as well as the pinned comment. Also, we'll have a discount for Appify in this video if you want to use their TikTok actor. All right, let's jump into this tutorial on my computer right now. So this is the workflow which we're going to be building out today. I wanted to change this up a little bit in comparison to some of the other social media scrapers we've had here on the channel um, because I don't want all the videos to be the same. And that way you guys can learn something new in every single video. That's kind of my goal. Um, other thing to note is Appify actually has an update. So in the past, you used to actually have to have two nodes or an HTTP node for Appify here if you're using cloud, right? But now they have this all here together, which is nice. Run an actor and get data set. We'll, we'll cover this here in a second, right? Uh, this is the spreadsheet, which we're going to be building out today. So it has two different tabs, one for the account information on the account you're scraping, and then also one for posts. And what you'll notice is uh, we have the same data here. I actually just cleaned up this over here. I didn't want it to be in an array like this. I just literally wanted the hashtags like that. So I'll be showing you how we can do that as well. And then this is the actor that we are going to be using, right? It costs $4 per thousand results on the side of things. So it's not too bad on the pricing, right? Remember, if you have an Appify paid account, you get $40 worth. And also just to mention too, I have an Appify promo code here for the channel. So if you want to use that, it's going to be here on the screen right now. Take a little bit of percentage off as well. And it does help, right? This is an affiliate code. So, um, I do make a lot of these videos for free for you guys. So if you do want to use Appify and things like that, save a little bit of money and help out the channel as well. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So let's talk about how we do this build. So first thing we're going to do is on form submission. I like doing a lot of my social media scrapers with the form submission here to start just for simple use on the YouTube side of things. It's not always the case uh, when dealing with customers and things like that, but uh, for these videos, it's pretty nice, right? So just enter in a username over here. So I just set up a field element username. That's a text. And I just put a placeholder Appify office. I'm just replicating what's over here, right? And uh, you run it and you get this information over here. Next, what I have over here is an Appify actor. So in the past, you, again, I mentioned you either had to do HTTP request or you had to have uh, two nodes, but now they have a run an actor and get data set, which is super critical. Uh, you're gonna have to set up your Appify account. All you have to do in here is paste in an API key. To get that, just go over here to settings in your Appify account, right? Go to API integrations and you get your Appify API key. Um, okay, so there is that. And then you're gonna to wanna to post in over here your Appify actor. So uh, you just get that from the URL over here, right? So console.appify.com slash actors slash the URL on that side of things. Next thing that I really recommend and as you start with the example input JSON and you can modify it. So what I do over here is just go to JSON and I like to copy this, right? And I like to start with it um, from the form, right? I want to grab the username. So all I did on the side of things is drag this username over here into that side of it, right? Just to make it a little bit more dynamic rather than having to change this out every single time. Now, one other thing I put over here is oldest post date. Um, I put this as 365. Only reason why is I just was working with a customer this weekend and they only wanted to see posts within the last 365 days for TikTok. Um, so we built that out for them on that side of things, right? So it lasts 365 days over there. Uh, this is some other information that you could use as well. I didn't really change it on here. I did want to also show you that there is quite a bit that you can modify on this side of things. And maybe you want to set this up in the form level, right? And then drag in true and false over here or whatever the case may be. Um, to see some of the other stuff, right? So you can see profiles, you can mess with that, right? Profile sections to scrape. So you can see videos or reposts, right? Uh, profile video sorting, latest, popular, or oldest, right? Max post per profile. If you want to save costs because you get $4 per thousand, right? Scrape profiles, videos published after a date. So you can do a relative date like I did 365 
or you can set a specific date, right? So imagine like if you're managing uh, different TikTok accounts, right? And you have a date that you started with and you just want to see the posts since then, you can do something like that, right? You can scrape videos before a publish date if you wanted to, right? Uh, videos with number of hearts and stuff like that. I'll show you how you can do this here in a second. Um, you can either set this filter in here, right? Or you can actually set that filter uh, within this workflow. So not too bad there. Again, same thing over here on the hearts side of things, right? And then uh, scrape followers and following profiles. And then there's other options as well over here. Okay, so with this out of the way, right? Then we're gonna go into the split. So we have 19 items or 19 posts from Appify and you can see all the JSON output over here. Right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to split out the content into two different sides. So since I have the two uh, spreadsheets or two sheets in the spreadsheet, account information and posts, we'll split those out. So let's first take a look at um, the, the individual account information. So since there's a lot of information over here, what I did is do an edit fields on here. Right. So what I have grabbed over here is the URL. So this is the URL of the Appify office. A TikTok account then I grabbed in the bio. And by the way, again, all I have to do on this side of things is just drag and drop. So, you know, like let's say for example, I wanted this text, right? Which you'll see, it's just gonna be a little bit down below over here, right? You can just grab text and then pass that in over here, right? So that's all I did, json.text, drag and drop. Um, so grab the bio, following, right? Fans, which I assume is like followers, hearts, and then videos. And all this is right over here, right? Then what you can do next, and by the way, all you have to do to grab that is click edit on here, right? And you can see edit fields. Next, since we are passing 19 items, right? These are all gonna be the same. So all 19 are gonna have the same URL, bio, following fans, hearts, right? I wanna change that up. So what I'm gonna do is remove duplicates because there's no need on that side of things. So just click over here to remove duplicates, right? And all I did over here is fields to compare is that URL, right? Because we're looking at different TikTok accounts. So Appify, and then you can see the item now goes from one, right? Going into this node, we had 19 items, which were identical. I removed the duplicates, then we go to one. And lastly, what I do is I append a row in a sheet, right? So what we're doing specifically on here is we're click doing operation, we're doing append row, a document from list, right? So I'm just grabbing this TikTok scraper Google sheet over here and values ascend, right? So I'm grabbing the same values over here and I'm grabbing those in, right? So all these over here are the headers in the specific sheet, right? So if I go back over to the sheet and account information, you can see URL, bio, following, fans, hearts, and videos. And well, that lines up directly one-to-one -one with that over here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go on to the other side. Also for sheets, right? All I did is go over here to sheets, click that, and then you just say append row and sheet, right? I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Um, the one other node that's a little bit different on the side is filter. So what I recommend is just go over here to filter and you'll use filter a lot with data, right? So it's just click over here, filter. So let's say I wanted to filter um, any TikTok that has to have over 1000. So I did is greater than 1000. Now one tricky part initially, your first time doing this, is it starts by string. So make sure to go over here to number because we're looking at a number, right? And you have different logic that you can use. You can use ands or you can use ors. I just set and across the board, right? So I wanna make sure that there's at least one comment also, and then at least one share. And again, all I did is go over here, right? And I went to a specific post and I just drag and drop that information, right? Um, so where is the set over here? I can't find it, but, oh, there we go. So. Share dot count, right? I just dropped this over here. Play count, right? Comment count as well, right? So if you want to filter on those cr criteria, you can do that. And again, this, this TikTok scraper initially, I gave you also option to scrape videos with the number of hearts. So if you wanted the hearts, put that there. And then the others like play count, comment, you can filter that over here. So I actually don't believe it has the hearts in over here. I don't know what dig count is. Um, I don't use TikTok, so full transparency on that side of things. Um, but yeah, so there's all that information on that side of things, right? And you can see it goes from 19 posts into three. Again, we're using edit fields. So I have the URL of the TikTok profile, the string, then the shares, plays, comments, hashtags. And this is where it changed up a little bit, right? So I played around a little bit with this over here. So JSON hashtags map, right? I grabbed the names, joined with a comma with a space over here. And that way we get this. 
uh, rather than this information over here, right? The other thing to note is by default, it's an array, right? And then I just had to go over here and change this into a string. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna have some issues over here with the error. I spent too long trying to figure that out. Um, make sure you put that as a string. Um, it doesn't automatically change that once you add in your code. Uh, lastly, what I do is append a row and sheet. Again, same information, right? I send in the values based off of what I have over here. And the only difference now is here at the bottom, right? Um, what I do is grab to the post tab rather than account information, which I don't know if I showed that the first one, right? Account information on the other side, post over here. And yeah, filter, if I didn't show that, right? Just filter. And you know, the thing is like, once we have these posts, there's other things that we could do from it. I really want to take this to the next level, right? Um, you can scrape the text from those posts, right? And you can kind of analyze the posts as well to figure out better information and different things like that, right? This is just a simple YouTube video. Um, but I can tell you that there's a lot that you could do with this TikTok data if you really, really wanted to. But yeah, so just based off of this one actor, right? We can get the count information and we could also find, you know, high performing posts. If you wanted to, I showed you a little bit of different ways on how you could do that. Also highly recommend you take a look at some of the different options that you have here in Appify. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. A little bit of faster one here today. If you learned something new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you need any help with App Appify actors or any any end workflows, I am taking on customers. The information will be down below in the description as well as a pinned comment. All right, I'll catch you guys in another video.